Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Um, I want to do a video today as an updated video. Um, I did a video about five months ago about this album, The Monkees Present. And I was just looking at it today going, I really don't like that video. It was like five months ago, I was sitting on the couch. I don't know, I just didn't like how it turned out. And there was some uh, misinformation on there as well. So I wanted to sort of update my video. Um, and just basically say, I'm a huge Monkees fan. Um, as you can see here, I've got my shirt on when I saw, um, Mickey Dolenz and Mike Nesmith. I saw them in the, uh, down in New York City at the Beacon Theater last year. Just a phenomenal show. I never got a chance to see the Monkees live in any of their reunion shows. Um, so I was so happy to see these two perform and it was just awesome. I heard... Uh, Michael Nes Nesmith sang the song Joanne, and even though that wasn't a monkey song, it was from his time with the First National Band. That, like, was amazing to see. Um, they did such deep cuts from some of the albums, like they did Auntie's Municipal Court off of Birds, the Bees, and the Monkees. Um, Mickey Dolenz, a phenomenal performer. He just commands the stage. His vocals are still top-notch, so I was so happy to see them perform um that was just a great experience but what i wanted to talk about is this album the monkeys present now this is one of my favorite monkeys albums if not my favorite it kind of goes between this and head this is a reissue on 180 this is put out uh by friday music they do some great reissues this is on colored vinyl Very cool. This was the second album as a trio. So after Peter Tork left, they came out with an album called Instant Replay, which is a which is another great album. And then this was the album that followed that. So they were still a trio. Obviously, Peter Tork is not presented in this picture. Um, this was originally going to be a double album, and each member was going to have their own side dedicated to their own uh, compositions and choices. Um, and then I believe that the last side was going to be some live tracks. Well, that idea was eventually pared down to just a single album. And uh, this is such an eclectic album, such a diverse album. It sounds um, so far away from early monkeys. Um, you are not going to hear Hey, Hey, We're the Monkeys on this album. You're not going to hear Last Train to Clarksville. You're not going to hear Gonna Buy Me a Dog. This is totally different monkeys. Tapping into each of the three remaining members' minds and their musical styles and their musical diversity. As far as albums go and Monkeys fans go, I don't think that this album really rates too high on a lot of Monkeys fans, um, you know, top choices. But for me, I love it. <clears throat> it's one of those albums that every time I listen to it, I hear something a little bit different. And I like that about it. I also like that there's not a lot of hits on this album. So there's really, really some deep cuts on here that you have to, you know, pay attention to and, and take time to listen to. Um, the album opens up with the song Little Girl, real short song, is about a minute and 59 seconds long, sung by Mickey Dolenz, and uh, great guitar work on here. I believe that the guitar guitarist playing on this song is the same guitarist who was playing in the single Valerie. So um, just a phenomenal um, arrangement of that song, love it. Then you've got the song called Good Clean Fun, that's a Michael Nesmith song, great country rocker. Um, uh, funny little story about that song. I guess uh, Nesmith's publisher basically said, hey, listen, Mike, you got to write songs with, and you got to have the title be actually part of the lyrics of the song so people can recognize, hey, the title of the song goes with the song. I actually hear those lyrics. Well, Michael, Michael Nesmith being who he is and his humor basically said, you know what? <sighs> Screw you. I'm releasing a song called Good Clean Fun, and I'm not even going to say the words Good Clean Fun in it. It was a single off the album. I don't know if it did too well for them, but it's just a great song. Um, then you've got the song If I Knew, sung by Davy Jones. 
uh, sort of a cabaret type song. Davey's got a couple of those cabaret type numbers on here. Just, just, just a, a mellow, really cool song. I love Davey's voice. Then you've got the song Bye Bye Baby Bye Bye. That was sung by Mickey Dolenz. I love the rhythmic quality to that song. And that's produced and arranged by Shorty Rogers, <clears throat> who uh, Mickey Dolan sort of had this uh, connection with during this time. Um, really cool song. It sounds nothing like uh, Early Monkeys. Then you've got a song by Michael Nesmith called Never Tell a Woman Yes. It's a, got a great story. Listen to the lyrics of that song. It's just this... This story that starts from the beginning and it gets tied up in the end and just comes to this great conclusion and um, just such a well-written song. Um, love it. Michael Desmond does some great vocals on that song. And then the last track on side one, Looking for the Good Times, produced by Boyce and Hart. Uh, it's got Davy Jones on vocals. That does harken back to early monkeys. So very uh, strong way to end side one. And then side two, you've got Ladies' Aid Society. Very cool song. Um, you've got some uh, falsetto singing by the monkeys to sort of um, resemble older women as part of the Ladies' Aid Society. Um, it's got a Rolling Stones vibe to it, I get. I, I like this tune. Um, it... Um, again, it sounds nothing like um, early monkey stuff, but I really dig it. And then you've got the, the best song on the album that I feel, Listen to the Band, which was the hit off of this album. Love it, still love it, never tire of listening to that song. Michael Nesmith, uh, he did a version when he did uh, the first national band as well, but I like this version, the Monkees version, the best. It's just an awesome song. It should have been a huge, huge hit. It was a hit for them, but it should have been bigger. It's an awesome song. Then you've got French Song, um, sung by Davy Jones. That's another one of those cabaret-type numbers. Mommy and Daddy, similar to Bye Bye Baby Bye Bye, but with some controversial lyrics. You should listen to it. Um, he tackles some, uh, some pretty interesting topics in that song. Then you've got Oklahoma Backroom Dancer, another country rocker by Nesmith. And then it ends with Pillow Time. Uh, Mickey singing, uh, just one of these, you know, basically almost lullaby-type songs to end the album. So a very diverse album, eclectic. It takes you into the minds of the monkeys. Um, after this, Michael Nesmith would leave to form the first national band, and the monkeys would release an album uh, as a duo. It was just Mickey and Davey, and the album was called Changes. That's another good album, too. I like the song Oh My My, and I love Ticket on a Ferry Ride. Um, that's another album that kind of gets slammed as well, but I, I, I dig it. But listen... If you are into 60s pop, if you are into the monkeys, if you are into country rock, if you are into eclectic music, check out The Monkeys Present. Underrated that I feel is underrated. Awesome album. Um, I don't think it gets the love that it deserves. So definitely check this out. I'd love to know your thoughts. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to do an update because I don't like I didn't like my first video that I did about this album. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to spin this today, actually. Enjoy the rest of your day and listen to the monkeys.